white people adopt black children. I got a question. Why are there so many black children that need to be adopted? Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So today's video, it is a very interesting video. Okay, so this is that asks the question, why is it that there's a lot of white family adopting black children? And this has struck a bigger conversation when a white man stepped into the conversation to say, why is it that there's a lot of black children in the adopting system? This whole conversation started off when a UFC player adopted a black kid and him, his wife, and his wife is a white but they decided to adopt a, um, two black kids and this UFC player went to talk about how he wants to raise good human beings he doesn't care about color and he does not see color his own concern is raising good men with integrity good character and all that and this has gotten the sister to question what is like like people saying they don't see color when these children are being raised in a white environment then now they are black and yet that black experience has been taken of them that black reality of how they are going to be treated differently because of their skin color has been taken away from them because they are raised by a white family i find this conversation very interesting so we're going to check out what the, the uh, ufc player said in his interview the sisters won and then the white man's respond to the sister's video and then people's response to the entire conversation so the conversation is why is it that white people adopt black children and why is it that there's a lot of black children in the adopting system anyway guys let's go check out this video and then we'll come back and talk more i'm not raising black children i'm raising children i'm not raising black men i'm raising men and whether you are black or you are white no matter what race that you are, there are certain things about being a man and being a good man when it comes to character and integrity and safeguarding the helpless and sticking up for those who, who need it and being a good man, a good man of reputation. None of that has to do with skin color. Everything has to do with the character of the man. The beauty of, of being a man of faith is, is we were called for a, a time in a family such as this. This is exactly how God created us to be. This is exactly how my family unit was supposed to be. Before I was even born, this is exactly how it was supposed to be. Before you were even born, he knew that you were chosen for me and mommy. And he knew that you were going to have your skin color. And he knew that I was going to have my skin color. And there's, and if there's beauty in that, and it's, it's unique to a lot of people, it might be foreign to some people, but it's absolutely beautifully, beautifully God ordained. And it's something that is going to be a part of our testimony. It's a part, it's, it's something that is, that is, that is making impacts through a butterfly effect that we don't even understand yet, whether it be people that see me from afar, people that see the way that I love you, the differences that we do have compared to if we did have the exact same skin. Why do white people adopt black children? It's a real question for me. Why do white people adopt black children and then say things like, I'm not raising black children, I'm raising children. Oh, are you? So this is UFC fighter Michael Chandler, and this is his wife. They've adopted two black children, and he recently did an interview where he stated he's not raising black children. He's raising children. And while I understand that he thinks that he means well by creating this think piece of, I don't see color, let me tell you why that's a problem. Even though you claim that you and your wife don't see color, the world does. This is America. And so when those children look at you, there's going to be... This can be problematic because it ignores the racial and cultural identity of the child. By not acknowledging the child's racial background, you're going to inadvertently neglect certain aspects of their identity, which is black. You're going to neglect their experiences. You're going to neglect what they may go through when they get out in the real world because they will not be treated like you. So when you say that you're not raising black children, you're only raising children, how are you gonna explain to them when they get treated different in the schools that you put them in? When they get treated different out in society? When they get treated different in the workplace? How are you gonna explain that to them? Is race going to come up then? 
Another reason why I don't understand why white people adopt black children is because a lot of times white people are not around a lot of black people, right? And so you're only going to have these black children around other white people. And I'm just assuming here, I don't know him personally, but I'm just saying for the most part, whenever we see white celebrities adopt black children, they have them within their group of friends, right? All white people. When they're not just... Even though you're raising them, you want to expose them to their own culture. Do you have any black friends? Is there any type of cultural significance you can give these children? Any shows, any areas, any schools, any anything to show them somebody who looks like them and not just like you. When these children grow up, or what we see most of the time, when these children end up growing up, they feel lost in the world and they don't know where they fit in. Because on one side of the spectrum, you really don't fit in with the black population because you've been raised as white, even though you are black. Then on the other side of the spectrum, you're around all these white people and they don't 100% accept you because at the end of the day, you're black. So with all of these complexities, why would you not acknowledge or raise your children as black children to prepare them the best that you can in the world? This I don't see color mentality does more harm than good. Because while you claim you don't see color, we know you do. And that's not a bad thing. That's not to say that anybody's racist or anything like that. But when people claim that they don't see color, you do. Because you're not blind. Everybody sees color. Yeah. I'm looking at this picture right here and I see a white wife and a white husband and black children. So everybody sees color. And guess what? When they go out in the world, the world is also going to see color. So I hope all the backlash that you've been getting for that interview that you did will enlighten you and your wife a little bit to open up your mind and give these children the best upbringing because we know monetarily you can. We know monetarily you're going to give them the best life that they can have. They're probably going to go to the best schools, best food, best area. That's all fine and dandy. But make sure you don't slip on that mental health. Because by raising them as not black children is going to psychologically mess them up. So that's what the sister had to say. And this video has gotten a lot of people talking. A lot of people have so much to say about this. But in this video, like I said in the beginning of this video, we're going to hear a white man respond to her. And this white man's response has gotten people talking. There's going to be a part two, which is going to be black children that are adopted by white families sharing their story, whether positive or negatively, we're going to find out then. But this white man decided to ask that why is it that so many black children are up for adoption and, or in the adoption system. And this has strike a bigger conversation and I need you guys to hear this conversation and then we'll talk about it. But also I want to know what you think about what the UFC player said and what the sister said. What are your thoughts? Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I'd love to know you guys thought on this. I have my own thought which I'm going to share later on in this video. But go ahead and share your thought. With that all said guys, let's go check out this white man's response and then people's response to the white man's response. Okay? So let's go check it out and then we'll come back to talk. Why do white people adopt black children? I got a question. Why are there so many black children that need to be adopted? My second question is, why do you care who adopts them and what color they are as long as they love that child and raise them right? And lastly, I see color. I see color. But when I see a little baby, I don't go, oh, look at that little white baby or look at that little black baby. These are babies. They haven't been filled with ignorance yet. Let them babies be babies and grow up to be good people. Adopt black children. I got a question. Why are there so many black children that need to be adopted? As a PhD student who is studying communities, specifically black communities, I do have an issue with this question because I know it's being asked due to ignorance and lack of knowledge. 
Let me start off by saying that I have no issue with a family who is well off and has the resources who can actually contribute to another's child's life. I have no issue with them actually taking on that role. But what I do have an issue with is that specific question. The question is, why are so many black kids in the child welfare system? Let's start off by stating that the child welfare system is one of the most brutal systems in America and that there are systematic biases that contribute to the overrepresentation of black children in foster care. Now, research has shown that black children are more likely to be taken out of their homes, right, and placed into the foster care system more likely than white children due to racial biases and stereotypes about what parenting styles are correct. And now we're going to take it all the way back to still identify that black mothers are negatively, still negatively impacted by systematic factors such as redlining, slavery, segregation, which limits their access to economic growth for their children. Now, just to wrap things up, this is not me pointing fingers and not agreeing with the fact that as a community, we do have things that we need to fix. And let's talk about the fact that black people are still playing catch up compared to white people. You're talking about a race that was generationally set back compared to a race that was already taught family, wealth, and everything else under the sun, okay? So when you ask a question like that, I only think you're opening a can of worms. There are work that we need to do within our community, but I'm saying systematically, we have a long way to go compared to y'all. But thank you for not seeing color. And I'll end this to say, one of my favorite statements that one of my professors have made, and it goes along the lines of, we are able to make better choices because we're giving better options, okay? So a lot, of, a lot of white people, we use the blanket statement to say, oh, if Oprah did it, you can do it. If LeBron James do it, you can do it. And it's not so, okay? We still have a long way to go. Why do white people adopt black children? I got a question. Why are there so many black children that need to be adopted? <clears throat> he, mm, don't you don't you hate when they get one? <laughs> Wait, I gotta do some more review. After further review, the replay shows that white foster kids make up 43% of foster children. Black kids make up 22 percent so mm -mm -mm. the question still stands mm -mm. answer the question buster why are y'all adopting black children is it like a trophy like if you adopt a white child people won't know that it's an adopted child you got to adopt a black child or a hispanic child that way folks know you're doing the world a favor you're doing the child a favor i don't know i'm just saying like what, what is it for real the question still stands Boy, I thought he had us. I thought he had us. I thought he ate with that one. But nah, answer the question. Why do white people adopt black children? I got a question. Why are there so many black children that need to be adopted? So the person who stitched this, his response to this original video was, dang, he ate her up. Like, are we not going to say anything? Are we not going to respond? And I have a response, but it's more questions for the original creator. So here they go. Question number one. Why do we actively attack people who are willing and wanting to take in a child, any child, doesn't matter what their race is, a child who is in need of a home? I'm not sure if people understand the foster care system and how it works, but if a child does not get adopted and they're in the foster care system, they stay there until they turn 18. And then after 18, they're out on their own. No family, no backup plan, nothing. They're literally out on the streets to fend for themselves. So why? Why would we want a child to stay in foster care because the family is not black or the same race as them that wants to adopt them? Why is it so bad to have a child live with be with a part of a family that wants them. Second question is, why is it now that there are so many children in the black community that need homes? Why isn't the black community actively helping these families before they end up in foster care? Back in the day, grandma, auntie, and all of them would take these kids in. If they knew mama wasn't doing right, they were gonna do everything they needed to do. Foster care actually reaches out to everybody they can. They ask mom, they ask dad, they ask anybody, do you have a kinship care that you would prefer over foster care? Because, hey, now I can't talk about people that are adopting kids from overseas, but that is not my business. I'm talking about here in the U.S. Third thing is, what are you doing? 
what are you doing to be an active participant in the foster care system to get these children who need black families and help them out? Be that person that they could have as like that liaison. Be that family that's like, you know what? I think I can be a foster parent. Let me welcome these kids in. Because quite frankly, there's not enough of us <laughs> out there that are actively participating in the foster care system and that are welcoming children into our homes. I have been a licensed foster care parent for about four years now. And in our community, I probably have seen one, one person of color out of all of these people who are willing to take children into their home. And I have only had one black child come into my house, which is a blessing, which means people in this community are stepping up when need. That, that's what that means, that when they are needed, they are stepping up and taking these kids into their homes. I don't care what color a child is. When they come into my home, they are my child, and I'm going to take care of them until I send them back. My son, my son is not black, but I adopted him. Why? Because I had that child in my house for over a year and a half and had him since he was six weeks old and I was the only mother he knew. And just because he's not black does not mean that I could not be his mom. Matter of fact, I feel like I birthed that baby. So let's be active participants in the solution and not attack people for wanting to help with the problem. Why do white people adopt black children? I got a question. Why are there so many black children? That Why do you think it's so many black kids that need to be adopted? Now, let's go away from the babies, right? It's this book I read um, a while ago. It was called... Um, I had to go find it. It's called Torn Apart. And it's by Dorothy Roberts. And what she talks about in that book is all the things that's being done to separate kids from their parents, especially especially black kids. We as black mothers have to be on our P's and Q's, especially when you stay in certain neighborhoods. Because any wrong thing will have those kids getting taken away from you and put in a system for you to never see again. And they go, go through foster home to foster home because they've not been adopted. And if they are reunited with their parents, they want nothing to do with them. Like, any little thing that we do as black parents are, is being viewed under a microscope. While our counterparts can have kids who do drugs, skip school, do all kind of things. And because they stay in an affluent neighborhood, they'll be like, oh, I'll get them therapy. It'll be okay. It's okay. But when you're a black parent and you not necessarily stay in a fluent neighborhood and you don't have access to those resources, now you got CPS knocking at your door for every little thing. Your child can come to school with a bruise for literally falling and they'll say that you did something to your kid when you did it. And that is one of the reasons why it's so many black kids in foster home. But let's get into the fact that most people do see color. So while you don't see color, most people do. So a lot of times it is uh, our counterparts who intentionally um, adopt black kids. And then they don't raise them the way that I would raise my black kid because I know the struggle. I know what my black child is going to go through. So you have these black kids and you're adopting them and you're raising them and they go out into the real world and they feel like they're going to have those same privileges that they have when they're next to you and they don't. So excuse me um, for, for not going for what you're saying because if you're going to get on here and make a comment and a statement and a quote about something, then I suggest you do your research first. Why do white people adopt black children? It's a real question for me. That's an easy question to answer. And I can tell you from having worked for 10 years in child welfare and having actually um, gone through helping families adopt and guardianship to different children of different colors, ethnicities, races, you name it. Uh, the fact of the matter is that it's because it's white families that are opening their homes. It's just as simple as that. Uh, if you look at these statistics, go to the Department of Health and Human Services. OK, more white families open their homes up to children of any race than other families of other races. Now, if families of color, of black families wanted to open their homes up for adoption to children who are black, of course, everyone would love to see that. But that's just simply not what's happening. Now, for you, example, have you opened your home up? Have you adopted any children that need a family? I'm guessing you haven't. So, and here's the thing too, you know, let's say if these white families said, oh no, no, we only want to adopt white children. Well, then you'd be calling that racist.
So no matter what happens, you're just going to be upset and unhappy about it because you're looking for things to be offended by, which is really, really sad and obviously and honestly really weak to be, you know, to say the truth here. Um, but the thing is, you know, when a child needs a placement, whether it's in foster care or looking for adoption, or whatever, of course, all agencies try to first find a family that the, that the child can, uh, can identify with. First, they try to actually find family like their actual relatives. And if they can't, if nobody says that they want the child, they all say, sorry, nope, I got no room. I can't take a child, whatever. Or their background checks don't come out clear. They've got criminal background, whatever it is. You got to find somewhere for the kid to go. It's not like we have like a warehouse where you can just store these children until they age out or you can find a place for them. So you're trying to find somewhere for them. And if it just happens to be that it's a white family, well, then it's a white family. Now, would you rather these children be living in an institution somewhere like they do in Russia and other countries where they basically just put them in these big giant rooms and nobody talks to them and they're just left there until they grow up and then they're released back into society? Would, would that make you happy? I mean, what do you want here? What is your solution? You want to sit here and say that this is some kind of a problem. I would love to hear your solution to this problem. Please, do wet or sitch this. I, I would love to hear how do you resolve this issue of making sure that that um, children of color who don't have parents for whatever reason, whether they're abandoned, the, the parents have died, the parents are incarcerated, whatever the case may be, how do we resolve this issue? How do we make sure that they're going to homes with families that they can identify with? Because if if those families, if those families that could be opening are not opening their homes, if they're saying, no, we don't want them, what would you like to have done? Please share with us. <laughs> have y'all seen the video where the lady's like, why do white people always adopt black children? And then the white dude came out of nowhere and was like, why do so many black children need to be adopted? I wanted to be mad so fucking bad. I wanted to, I wanted to be, I wanted to be mad so bad, but I, I don't even want to Google it. Like, I don't even... Because I don't want to piss myself off. Because that's a question. Please help me. No way there's more black kids in the foster system than white kids. Or wherever kids get adopted from. I'm not familiar. Please tell me that there are more white kids. Because there's so many white people in America. There's no way we should hold a candle to, to them from wherever kids get fucking adopted from. When he asked that question, I was like, wait, I'm going to hold my anger. And I was like, I'm going to Google it. But then I'm like, if I Google it and it turns out that there's more black kids, I'm going to just have to be mad in silence. I'm just going to make this video. Fuck that. Somebody get them. I'm not going to get them. Somebody get him for saying that shit. People adopt black children. I got a question. Why are there so many black children that need to be adopted? Because like any race of children who's in the adoption care system, their original birth family could not take care of them. I feel like that answer should have been obvious. <laughs> but also, I learned only this last, like, two years from following people who talk about the adoption care system and seeing videos of this actually recorded by the parents that CPS will steal the children. And this is regardless of race. This happens to white women. Right? Regardless of race, CPS uh, will steal the children of the babies of, of, of people and claiming, citing that they could not, they were not fit parents. They're... Quite a few stories of people who have shared their children being taken from them when there was no danger to the children. The family was perfectly healthy, but CPS, having the power that it has, took the children from them. I specifically remember this story from this black woman. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, like I can't, can't remember if it was her second baby being taken by them. And she was pleading for help. It went viral. Just awful. But your second question of, and you didn't say this, but let's just... Be real here. You're know, asking why do black people have an issue? You didn't say this. You didn't say this. But why do black people have an issue whenever non-black people adopt black children? Because we have come across adult black people who were adopted by non-black people. And these black people who were adopted by them have very anti-black sentiments. Like, I remember back at my university, there was this one guy. He was very dark-skinned. I believe he was African, actually. And he was on the soccer team. The soccer team, I, I, he was the, I, I want to say he was, he was the only black person on the soccer team. <laughs> and it was just full, full of, of white guys. And I remember we would wave at him 
And he he would look the other way. And so for the longest time, we were like, what's going on with him? Why, why is he not responding to us? Until we learned somebody happened to find out information about him that both his parents were white. And that's when we were like, oh, that makes sense. Because he 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 refused he refused to to come and talk to the black people who because you know we have our different areas right when we're on the campus right you're sitting during classes are are not going on so there's certain sections of people who happen to congregate and whenever there was a black you know the black people we would we would congregate in a certain part of the the university he would never be around he would only stick to his soccer team and also any other white people that were there right but another personal situation. Uh, and you can you can you can talk to black people who have encountered this where my sister had a client and hmm, the client was a white mother and a black father. And they had a baby, obviously biracial baby. Now, the white mother, her grandfather is white, obviously. And my sister heard and learned that the grandfather was teaching his biracial black presenting grandchild not to be like the other black people. What? I, okay, you might you might understand what that means, but like, I don't be the stereotypical black person. So that comes with telling him all types of things about black people and labeling a certain type of black pe- person a specific, a specific type of way, seeing them as just call it what it is as less than, as not respectable. That is anti-black. That's the issue. Answer to your first question. Should have been obvious. The second question is because black people being adopted by non-black people end up having more anti-black sentiments because they weren't raised around black people who could teach them about not not holding on to the stereotypes that are given to black people. You're welcome. And then I shouldn't have to say this, but obviously there are non-black people who adopt black children who do a phenomenal job. And again, at my university, I met this girl. Um, I don't know her b- exact background, but she was also dark skinned. Both her parents were white. And this woman was, uh, the, this black woman I, that I met at my university, she was phenomenal. She was so kind. Uh, she spoke very highly of her parents that they did their due diligence to make sure that they didn't raise her improperly, that they didn't raise her with any bias towards her home people. So obviously that's possible. There are white people who do their due diligence when they know that they are adopting a child of a different race. And ending this by going back to the original ish, uh, conversation about this, of why do some of us have, some of us have an issue when non-black people adopt black children? When things like this happen. When they unalive their, their entire family, all their children, their black children, intentionally. And this little boy, there's a picture of him hugging an officer that that's when that went viral, and then people ended up following up and finding out that they all lost their lives because their two non-black adoptive parents decided to end all of them. What? This is why we're weary. This is why we are not always in favor whenever we see someone non-black adopting black children. It's not because we're just making things up or we're just exaggerating. This is a real concern that we talk about in our community. Wow, wow, wow. I find this conversation very, very interesting. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section. Like always, keep it respectful as always. But go ahead, feel free and share your thoughts. But yeah, I feel like there's so much um, going on with the conversation about why do white people adopt black kids and why uh, are there a lot of black kids in the adopted system? But you know what? Here's my fold. <laughs> okay. I really want to see with this one to be sure if there's a lot of... I doubt there will be a lot of more black kids than white kids in the in America adopted or being in the adoption system. Um, they, eh. So from what I see here, the, what I'm seeing here, they are all like old research, I'm not seeing any re- recent research or statistics here, but what I'm seeing here is that 56% is white, 14% is black, 20% is Hispanic, um, 6% is older, white, 4% is Asian. And so that means he was wrong talking about how there's a lot of black children in the adopting system. 
But let's just get into the conversation of why do white people adopt black kids. This is something I saw a couple of years ago where we see some black people come to the continent African and adopt children from Ethiopia, from Rwanda, like all over. They just adopt these children and take them to the U.S. and all that. And for me, it usually just gives me, like, I usually think, like, why do they do that? I understand they want to help children in Africa, but there are some cases where they've genuinely helped. There was this case that happened years ago of this, I'll try and look for those pictures and put, of this um, white woman that came to adopt a child that the parents, here in Nigeria, it happened here in Nigeria, left to die because they said the child is a witch and all that so they were not feeding the child the child was just so maltreated like if you see the truth the child you like so cringe this woman took this child took the child with her and now the ch she and the child they are doing so well so there are cases where it's been helpful but i understand where the sister is coming from especially from the african-american community which i'm not part of obviously but with the case and the things i've known about the system how black people are being treated in America and even how black people are being treated all over the world it's actually a real concern especially as a white person that has never experienced it like I'm my white people here yeah, I'm telling you, it's a different experience as a black person and as a white person and this is something I've seen first and of how somebody will treat me different because I'm a black woman and how somebody will treat somebody different because they are white and for you not to acknowledge that for me i feel like that's where the issue the sister has an issue with and um, people talking about oh the sister is, the sister is not angry the sister is actually raising a genuine concern we do appreciate children being taken off the adoption system and being raised or children be given a more better opportunity we do appreciate that like for any child whether being black white we do appreciate that because we want people out there to be able to raise good children so that we can have good human beings in the society but the concern is that when you say you don't see color and you're raising this child as just a child and what you know as a white person you're taking away from the black experience and how this child is going to be treated like the sister said out there and for me that is actually a real concern because i don't know like i feel like it's a real different experience because when you're thrown into somewhere where you're not used to or you're not taught to sometimes it comes it comes back some type of way so i understand the sister's concern and i do appreciate the type of conversation they were having and i do want you guys if you guys know the percentage of um adopting ch children in the adopting system in the united states please go down and check i really want to know because just to get this way just doing a quick google search i couldn't really find a recent one so if you have it please leave it down but i find this conversation very interesting i don't see into what the sister said wrong but also at the same time, I don't see anything the UFC player said wrong. It's just like, it's a valid point. And even what the man that was coming for the sister said, talking about how, I don't see anything wrong with raising good human beings. That should be the goal for anybody. But also somebody talking about, oh, how are we going to carve this out? Can we just stop having children? Like, yes, can we stop having children that we cannot take care of or we cannot provide for or children that there is no conducive environment for them? There's one thing I always tell my friends and when we have this conversation, we usually talk about how when we have children, ask yourself if anything happened to you is there anybody that can look out for this child and if there's none don't even have a child even if, even when you have the capacity even when you know you can ha afford having a child you you are a very good human being if you don't have if you don't have other people to do this to help you or if anything happens to you to take over the child why should you do that so i feel like that also one also place that we should come from to always look if we have if you have anybody that can look after your child if anything happens to you. Anyway, guys, i love to know your own take about this amazing conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. As always, you're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we'll do it in a respectful way. So go ahead, feel free, and share your thought. Share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversations. So go ahead and share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to put out my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting this channel and this gear. Yeah? So go ahead and do that. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel and i'll see you guys in my next video you don't want to miss out the part two of where adopted black adopted children share their story of being raised in a white family i can't wait for that video anyway guys see you guys in my next video do see